Hello, Todd Clemens, Okeechobee Livestock Market, and here's your weekly market report. Well, I think we have quite a bit to talk about this week, even though I think it was fairly quiet here at the livestock market on prices. Everything held pretty steady. We had a good run of cattle, nothing out of the ordinary. Uh, we're just kind of getting out of the old crop calves and seeing the leftover stuff, and now we're getting into some new crop calves. We saw quality pickup here. Um, so everything went, went pretty good. I'd like to talk to you a, a little bit about what's going on nationally, and you may not have heard, or you may have heard and not really understand what's going on there, but there's this, this call for a beef checkoff referendum. And the, the word referendum and all of that connotation is a negative thing, and I don't think these people are talking about doing away with the checkoff. It's been 35 years since it's been implemented and made law, and it has not been reviewed or called back to see if it needs to be tweaked or changed or are things still the same or whatever. So that's, that's kind of what this is about. It's the beef checkoff referendum. You can go to checkoffvote.com. You can sign the petition, you can read information, why you should sign it, why you shouldn't sign it, get the information, read it, and then do what you feel like you need to do. There's a strong push to have the referendum out there so that people that own the cattle, the producers in our country, the ones that raise the cattle, will have a say-so in what's going on and not just a handful, a small selected group of people or political people or bureaucrats deciding for you what's best for you and your business. So I support it personally, but you make your choice. Checkoffvote.com. Also on the national level, it seems to me that uh, packers are um, they're still not buying a lot of cattle uh, on price discovery, on negotiated price. They're buying a lot of formula, a lot of grid cattle. They've got a good supply of cattle sitting there and they're picking them up pretty quick though. They're killing a lot of cattle. Why? They're making a thousand dollars a head for every one of them they kill. So they're still doing good. Box beef prices are still skyrocketing. They're about to the point now where they're going to start dropping off because we've got Father's Day and um, Fourth of July coming up. Those are all big meat weeks and then after that it looks like the prices on the retail level will start backing down but right now you've got those um, prime and choice cuts up over three dollars I think maybe 320 a pound and still uh, live steers coming out of the feedlot are barely bringing 120 it's more like 118 and 119 so there's a huge profit right there for those packers and um, you know that's why I think personally this checkoff deal needs to be looked at and see if they can't uh, get some of the packers to pay some of this money instead of the producers because it's not trickling not trickling back down to the guy that's the boots on the ground, the guy that's growing the beef, it's not coming back to us. We need to get something done about that. Um, also, grain prices are still out there. Uh, corn is, is high, even though they're saying that this new crop corn, um, there's a lot of it in the ground and uh, it's, it's coming up out of the ground and uh, the rates are higher maybe this year than they were last year or the five year average. Uh, so emergence, post Emergence or whatever you want to call that is, is good and hopefully there will be a good crop But grain prices right now are hurting the feeder market the calves that come across the ring here that you're selling They're going to have to go somewhere before they go to the feedlot because the cost of gain is up there around a dollar ten or better Per pound on the cost of gain. So they're going to take these calves to pastures Well, there's drought in a lot of areas where there was grass. So we need rain We need rain in places that don't have it but there are some places where these calves will go to in the Flint Hills out west in Kansas and Oklahoma, and they do real good and they'll put on a lot of weight, cheaper gain, and then they can go to the feedlot after that. So weather is critical in what we're doing. Uh, although right here it seems to be on the dry side, but conditions, pasture conditions are great. Grass is green and cows are fat and calves are gaining real good weight every day, it looks like to me. Uh, quality of calves, like I said here this week, was better. And condition of cattle is better too. They're showing better signs. I think we're through the stress of the winter months and uh, everything is kind of getting back to normal there. Um, what else? 
Oh, next week, uh, Florida Cattlemen's Association is having the annual convention down at Marco. You know, last year we got scrapped because of the COVID and when we had our little convention sale here at uh, the Pier 2 Hotel and honored our outgoing president, Matt Pierce, and the fine job that he did. And But we're all back together again in Marco this year and Producers Cattle Auction will be having their annual convention sale there and there will be some outstanding calves on that sale. So check it out at producerscattleauctions.com. See the lineup and see, who, see who's on there. Uh, if you're interested in buying anything, log on. There's be some good heifers there. If you want to be looking for some re retaining heifers, uh, there'll all be, be some good feeding steer there too. And so just check it out. Should be good. That's next Thursday at 10 o'clock Eastern time. On the home front, um, feeder calves sold steady. Quality was better. Slaughter market was a little better. We called the slaughter cows and bulls one to three dollars higher, and uh, there's a good demand for that for the hamburger meat because the other meat is extremely high. So this supplements that high end that high end meat market. All right, now for high prices, we had the Corona family, Stephanie and Antonio and Nano and Kelly and all you guys were sold a little uh, group of calves off of heifers, I suppose. They were little lightweight calves, and one of them weighed 180 pounds, and it brought $2.32.5 bought by DNS. And on the high cow side, we had two different people that had cows bring 76 cents, Byron Story and 7-Eleven Ranch. Both had 76 cents cows. One weighed 11.55 and one weighed 11.70. Both of them bought by Florida Beef. That's your market report. Thank you.